Hi guys, this is Lakshmi. Welcome to my channel. So today we are going to make chicken lollipop. This is my favorite appetizer item and I'm really excited to share this recipe because the results are really awesome. It gives you an absolute restaurant like taste. So let's get started. To begin with, we will learn how to make a lollipop out of uh, chicken drumettes. It's really easy. I'm going to show you how to do it at home. So this is a chicken drumette and basically we are going to make a lollipop out of it. It's very easy. All you do is cut the skin that is around the end of this uh, side of the bone. So basically we are trying to detach all the meat uh, from this side uh, which is going to be the stem of the lollipop. Be very careful uh, with this uh, because uh, it's kind of tricky sometimes. So as you can see, uh, you can see the bone getting revealed. So as you can see. Uh, I got rid of all the skin and the flesh that was on this side of the bone. So I'm just going to drag the meat down like this. And that's it. You just turn it upside down. And there you go. You have your lollipop. So it's as easy as that. So I'm going to do the same thing for all the drumettes. So the lollipops are ready. Uh, now we are just going to marinate it uh, with a few spices and sauces. So let's begin with little turmeric powder. I have one tablespoon of freshly made ginger garlic paste, little bit of Kashmiri red chili powder. And I'm also adding some red chili sauce. And very little salt. So once you add all these ingredients, uh, we want to mix it really well. We want to make sure that all the sauces um, and the ginger garlic paste and everything is nicely applied to the heads of the lollipop. So once you marinate this, uh, we will set it in the refrigerator for at least half an hour and it will be really great if you can do it uh, in the night and put it in the refrigerator overnight. So now uh, I'm just taking one egg and one tablespoon of cornstarch powder. I'm also adding a little bit of pepper powder, very little salt and just mix this. So before frying our lollipops, I'm just going to dip them uh, in this egg batter. So we're just going to coat it uh, well so that the cornstarch and the egg is nicely applied. So I have uh, I have taken nine drumettes to begin with, and for that I just needed uh, one egg that should be good and one tablespoon of cornstarch that's good. So once the oil is nice and hot, I'm just going to start dropping the chicken lollipops inside it. Just do uh, like four at a time and not more. Keep the heat at uh, medium high and not too high uh, because we want the chicken to get cooked uh, really well from inside and out. So this could take anything from around like 5 to 6 minutes. Um, the chicken will get really nice and golden brown. So after about 2 to 3 minutes, just make sure you flip it. So the chicken looks just about ready. It should get this nice uh, golden brown color. So I did them for about 6 minutes. So just put it on a paper towel to soak the excess oil. Now if you want uh, to make a dry preparation, uh, you can dip this after the egg wash, uh, you can dip this into breadcrumbs and fry them a little longer and you will get crispier uh, chicken lollipops. 
So our chicken lollipops are now ready. So I have fried all of them. And now what we are going to do is just make a quick uh, tangy sauce and toss all of these in that sauce and we will be ready. So I'm just taking some leftover oil from our frying in another pan. So once the oil is hot, I'm adding one cup of chopped onions. So make sure that the onions are nicely and finely chopped. I'm adding two tablespoons of finely chopped garlic, one tablespoon of finely chopped ginger. Saute this till the raw smell of uh, ginger garlic is gone. Depending on how spicy you like, uh, add some chopped green chilies, chopped coriander leaves. Once the ingredients are nicely sorted, I'm adding just a little bit of water. This is because we are going to add a couple of sauces and we don't want them to be burnt. So I'm adding some soya sauce, about 1 tablespoon. Two tablespoons of red chili sauce or soup to your taste. One tablespoon of tomato ketchup. Now at this point you can make this dish even more Indo-Chinese by adding some shredded cabbage, some carrot uh, that's finely chopped and some spring onions and it is going to taste really awesome. Alright, time to add our chicken uh, right into the sauce. Great. Now give it a nice toss. Make sure uh, that the sauce coats all the pieces of chicken really well. Now this is already looking so awesome and tempting. But to make it look even more prettier, uh, here's a trick. So just uh, cut a small piece of aluminium foil and take the shinier side on the top. And just pick one piece at the end and slowly cover it uh, with the aluminium foil. So this will make it look pretty and it will also make it easier for your guests to pick it and eat it. So I really hope you guys like this recipe and you are going to try it. Please let me know how it turned out and until we meet next time, be larger than life. Thank you.